Aaron Stotts with Justin Market Johnny. Today we have Dave Korsunski with us live in studio at my uh, home office here in Austin, Texas. This weekend was a great weekend. Dave and I actually had the ability to go down to Paleo FX. I was speaking on a couple of topics and uh, Dave and I were checking out some of the, the vendors there and we came across a really bunch of cool products that we want to share with you today. And we actually did some biohacking in-house laboratory testing this morning that we are excited to share with you. We're gonna do our last reading here on air and we're gonna kind of walk you through some of the key caveats and take home items for you if you want to improve and maximize your blood sugar health. So off the bat Dave, any uh, questions, comments, or things you want to bring up about some of the things we talked about at PaleoVex? Well, I think I've been testing my ketones for, since about the beginning of the year, yeah. on and off, in and out of ketosis. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got the products here that mm -hmm. we're going to review today, but I was really excited about this supplement because it's tricky to stay in ketosis, it's yeah. tricky to get in ketosis, so if this provides a little bit of extra edge, I think you and I were both really encouraged about that, Yeah, and that's why we decided to do the experiments here today. Right. So off the bat, we are going to do our last blood sugar, or actually our last ketone reading. We started, we did one hour, we both had a, a butter MCT coffee for breakfast, which was great. We both had, then after we did a reading then, we then took a ketone shake and then did a reading one hour later, got our ketone levels, and we're gonna overlay the results on screen. We're using an application called Heads Up Health. You can find it at headsuphealth.com. It's a free app where you can chart all of your data, laboratory, biomarkers, blood pressure, sleep, and it hooks up with eight API devices to all of these different connections so you can plug in your data automatically. So we're gonna be using this device here. We'll put some screen overlay so you can see the data and it makes it do a really nice graph for you. Any questions on that, Dave? No, let's go for it. So, right, so uh, you wanna talk a bit about the supplement first and the testing kit and then we can do our reading? Yeah, so a couple of the benefits here we wanna talk about. So number one, ketosis is a really great physiological state that we can get into by keeping carbohydrates low. Now, some people benefit, some people don't. I feel like the, the vast majority of people benefit by being a fat burner, which is where you're burning these ketones, which are fat metabolites, whether it's acetone, acetate, beta hydroxybutyrate, and we get these ketones from being on the lower carbohydrate diet. Now, there are some cognitive benefits that we get from ketones, such as brain enhancement, cognitive function, because parts of our brain that can't run on sugar anymore run very efficiently, even at higher levels with ketones. So what we're doing is we're artificially adding some ketones, some beta-hydroxybutyrate esters, whether it's from sodium or calcium, beta-hydroxybutyrate esters, into our body so that we can have a higher level of ketones. Now, we'll go into some of the caveats for this afterwards as we find that you still have to be avoiding a lot of the carbs and the refined sugar to really get the maximal health benefits, but we'll go over that afterwards. So this is the product we use by Keto OS. It's a part of Dom Agostino, PhD, his company, where they're increasing ketones artificially. We also wanna do it via a lower carb paleo diet too. So this is the overall product here that we're using today. We met the guys over at Paleo FX and we wanna do our readings here on air for the last reading out of three for our ketones. So let's get started. So this is the meter that both Justin and I use. It's common for people testing ketones. It's the Precision Extra. We're both gonna geek, geek out here and do our uh, last ketone strip, uh, our ketone test together. Now this is two hours after we've taken the supplement. Just two hours. Clear. And let's share some of our data we got so far. So we'll overlay it on screen to make it simple to see. Again, use the headsuphealth.com application to plug yours in. But overall, the data was, let's see, what was our first readings? What was yours? My first reading was 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and then one hour after the supplement, I went up to 0 0.6, so an increase of 0 0.3. You had the exact same increase from 0 0.1 to 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Now we're doing a test one hour later to see if mm -hmm. those ketones have stayed in our system, if they've gone up, if they've gone down, et cetera. Exactly. And again, the nice benefit is we both started with the same kind of meal. We had a, a butter MCT coffee. We then had the same kind of breakfast tested. I think we tested before the breakfast, didn't we? We tested before the breakfast, which was the fasting. Yep. Then we tested one hour afterwards, which was still fasting. Still fasting. And now we're testing one hour after that, but we did eat. We did it in between the last reading and this reading. All right, dude, let's go for it. Let's do it. So off the bat, we're using the Precision Extra. Again, these strips are pretty expensive. You can find them on eBay for a little bit cheaper. About $2 a strip. I like the side of my pinky. We load the uh, pin pricker here. You gotta get a decent bit of blood, so make sure you nurse it out a bit so you have enough here to, to get a reading. If not, you'll waste a pretty expensive strip. Come on now, almost there. There we go. There we go. It takes about 10 seconds to read it. I don't like to waste my blood, so get all vampire on you. 
Uh, I used the wrong strip. So Dave will have to get a second strip here. That's a glucose strip. I'll do it again. So off the bat here, my ketones are now down to 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So I started at 0 0.1, went up to 0.4, Dave? Yep. 0 0.4. 0 0.4, now I'm down to 0 0.2. So you can see I'm a little bit higher than I was at baseline, about 100% higher. So 100% improvement. Ideally, we want to be, what, 0 0.5 to 1, ideally, to get the maximum yeah, benefits? Yeah, nutritional ketosis is uh, 0 0.5 to 3 millimoles per liter is considered nutritional ketosis, according to my understanding. So uh, you, uh, you were close. Now, if we waited later on in the day, we would probably see an improvement in the ketones because ketones tend to be higher at night and lower in the morning. I think part of that has to do with cortisol, mobilizing glucose when glucose is higher. Insulin can, can tend to knock down our ketose, uh, ketone levels. Yeah, I'm struggling here to get enough to uh, get the thing to kick in. You gotta milk that there. thing. There we go. So okay. I had point two here, and we'll get a reading from Dave's here in just a second. So again, the take home is, right, low carbohydrate, paleo type of diet. And again, it may not be the best for some people. The problem with some people on lower carb diets, they can actually make more glucose via gluconeogenesis than they would if they actually just made, ate a little bit more carbohydrate in your, in your diet to begin with. So let's say, let's use some fictitious numbers. Let's say you ate 20 or 30 grams of sweet potato that night. You may have made 20 or 30 grams by taking it in, but you may have made 40 or 50 extra from a gluconeogenic cortisol response. So you really have to figure it out and see what works best for you. That's why the testing is phenomenal and see if you feel well and see if you also get the cognitive benefits by adding in the additional ketones. How'd you do, Dave? So I'm back to 0 0.3, which was right where I started before the okay. supplement. Okay. So uh, two hours after supplementation, I'm back to where I was without any supplementation. Mm -hmm. um, so this is where I was just with natural nutritional ketosis. So it's really hard to say how long that supplement's staying inside. It's, it's hard to say what the effect of the meal may be. But I, th I think I agree with you in general. The point of all of this is to collect your own data cut through all the noise. That's how you start to figure out what really works best for you, is just collecting data. So this is what we've done here. This is how you can collect your own readings uh, and start to correlate it with other things you're doing in your lifestyle, right. diet, supplement, exercise, etc. So overall, the big take home is two hours afterwards, we're kind of back to baseline. So if we wanted to use this therapeutically for athletic you know, improvement, athletic performance, we a one or two hour event would probably be enough to get the benefit and, have, and hold those ketones in your body for energy throughout the process. Again, if we're not using it for energy, we'll probably just pee it out. The next is if you're going to be using it for cognitive benefits throughout the day at your job or work, you'd want to be consuming it probably at least two or three times a day to get that cognitive benefit throughout the whole day. But again, the key take home here is utilize ketosis nutritionally, figure out if it works right for you, test it, see how you feel, add some artificial ketones in via some supplemental support, whether it's the calcium or sodium, beta hydroxy, butyrate esters, and see how you look, feel, and perform. Any other comments, Dave? Looks great, thanks, Doc. We'll put some of the links on screen for some of the products we use for the Keto OS, for some of the meters, and we'll put the links up for Heads Up Health. Again, sign up, get an account so you can track even more data, such as lab tests, and we'll have more videos on these type of topics, how you can utilize this software to help monitor and take control of your health. So for now, Click on screen to subscribe. Any issues or questions or concerns about Heads Up Health, just reach out to Dave on screen by clicking his contact email or go to headsuphealth.com. Yep. And uh, stay tuned for more great videos coming your way. Thanks.